Pokemon mystery boxes. Sometimes they're amazing, and sometimes they're really, really bad. But today, we're gonna see just how lucky we get because I purchased a random $1,000 mystery box off of a website that I've never even heard of before. This is called Pokey Dash Collect, and they sell all kinds of things, including Pokemon mystery boxes, which is exactly what we're after. They start around $50 and go all the way up to $1,000. So you know us, we have to go for the $1,000 box. The long-awaited mystery boxes are here. I hope that's a good sign. It looks like there's a lot of different things that we can get in here, including graded cards, sealed products, and a bunch of other goodies. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. It also looks like the box was thrown around like a sack of potatoes because the side of this thing is busted in it looks like they actually taped it back together i really hope that nothing fell out of this box well i guess we just crack it on the one side here and see what we got all right let's continue with this and it looks like some stuff's already about to fall out of here we have it looks like a mewtwo plush okay this is actually from Pokemon Center, so it's definitely official. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away three sealed items from this mystery box. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is, number one, smash the like button on the video. Number two, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. And number three, down below in the comment section, you got to let me know what you think is going to happen in this mystery opening. Is it going to be really bad, or, or is it going to be really good? On with the craziness. Uh, what do we got? Four plushes. We got Shuckle. My boy Shuckle. Okay. Another Pokemon Center uh, exclusive here. Hopefully there's some Pokemon cards in here. What do we got? Oh, oh, this is actually a really good one. We got the king himself, Charizard, as well as a plush from Pokemon Center. I will take that all day. All right, it's time to get serious now. What is going to be in here? It's time to just get right into this thing. We're, we're not messing around anymore. Whoa. Okay. Oh no, I was so preoccupied with Pikachu, I didn't realize Clefairy just straight up fell out of that box. But we do have a Clefairy, I think it's okay. Now this one's actually really cool. This is the special delivery Pikachu. Wait, did I accidentally buy the plush mystery box for a thousand dollars of plushes? Hopefully we have some cards coming up soon, guys. And I think we do. Wait, maybe. I don't know. Wait, oh no, Squirtle too. Hold on. Oh, there's too much stuff falling everywhere. I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but as always, whenever I purchase mystery boxes, I never let them know that it's me buying them just so that the boxes aren't like skewed in my favor or made to look better than they actually are. Ready for the next item? I bet you can't guess what it is. Squirtle. So we got another plush, man. I'm telling you, this is the plush mystery box right here. I'm not even kidding. We have almost $200 in plushes. Now I'm kind of getting annoyed. But actually, next up, we do have this really nice playmat. Uh, Shining Gyarados, my boy. Two feet wide. Okay. Uh, this actually is kind of amazing. This is back from 2016. Hold on, you guys aren't going to believe this. Plushes. They're at least cool Pokemon. Lugia sick, Glaceon sick. But I don't need any more plushes. Like, I'm not even kidding. I have over $200 of plushes from this mystery box right now. So this thing is freaking heavy. This got to be like 20 pounds. There's still all kinds of stuff in this box. We're going to save that for later and go into this other box. So there's just stuff dropping everywhere. All right, I'm just going to go in blind. Uh, first item. Let's grab this thing. We have... Oh, there we go. Okay, this is what we want to see. Finally, a Hidden Fates tin. And it's the Charizard. I will take that. Beautiful. Come on, keep them coming. Keep them coming. What do we got? We got a... Build and Battle Stadium for Fusion Strike. We'll take sealed product. Nice. I'm still pretty nervous. We're at about $340. Uh, what do we got? Oh, okay. That's nice. We got a Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. That is actually pretty good. These are really good values still. We're getting there. We're getting there. Not quite halfway yet. Let's see. There's some... What is this? Uh, what is this? I got two. I grabbed two things. We got a Hoopa V Box. Okay. Pretty modern box here. And we also do have, nice, a Dark Sylveon box as well. More Celebrations goodies. Next up, we have... Okay. I will take a Elite Trainer box of Fusion Strike. I love the color scheme on here with the Mew. Keep digging. Um, oh, okay. We have a deck case right here. LX. Uh, pet it. Outer Shell. Panel with magnetic closure. Holds 80 cards and sleeves. Pretty nice quality uh, thing we got here. Wait, I'm so confused, guys. It's a box within the box, and it's still really heavy. This is still probably about like 8 to 10 pounds. Bubble things, and our first item is a booster box. Nice. So I believe this is like the Japanese version of Fusion Strike. A little over $500 of value. I, I feel like 
we still need a good amount more value for what's left here. More bubble stuff. All right, what do we got? I'm trying to get this. There we go. Oh, I got it. What is this? Oh, okay. We have a Vivid Voltage booster box. Not in the best condition, but these sometimes were wrapped kind of weird. This might have been one of those um, issues that they had, one of the boxes. And I also went digging back in that big box that was busted open earlier and pulled out just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, just filler type things, sleeves, dice. Uh, top loaders, stuff like that. And the final three things in that giant box were these three binders. The Ultra Pro is actually incredibly high quality. These are actually really expensive. Um, then we had a Charmander one, and that's kind of like middle of the line. And then we did have this train on first partner collector's binder uh, that holds 30 cards. You get the big Pikachu on the back there as well. All right, still got some more stuff in here. Let's see what the next item is. Feels like a booster box. And, up. Oh, okay, we do have a Battle Styles booster box in here. Pretty decent, or actually really good condition. And we continue, we have a, it looks like a Darkness Ablaze booster box as well here, yep. So we got the Darkness Ablaze all sealed up. And I think we're coming down to it, there might be, yeah, one more thing left in this box. And it is a booster box. And it's gonna be a Japanese booster box of Eevee Heroes. Actually a really solid set to open up. So we did actually get well over $1,000 in value in this box. We definitely weren't scammed because we got a good value. Although I would say if you include the plushes and then like all the binders and sleeves, that was like around $300 in what I would feel like is kind of like filler items. And then as for the sealed items, I feel like there weren't as many really exciting things. Um, there were like pretty standard booster boxes like battle styles um, and, and that type of stuff in there. But I would have definitely liked to see a few older items in there, maybe a couple of uh, more type of... Maybe not even sealed stuff, just maybe even graded cards. I mean, we didn't get any graded cards or anything like that. But yeah, a few older items would have been really cool as well, just to kind of switch it up. Maybe some loose cards, stuff like that. But that is going to do it, guys. I hope you had a great day. Make sure to check out a video up here. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. But that is going to do it. I will see you guys 